Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. And hello to everybody that showed up today on this Friday afternoon. Good to see you. Well, it might not be afternoon, it might be morning. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hopefully you're having an outstanding Friday so far. Glad to see you guys. Glad you could come to join us today. Uh, I apologize, first of all, to all of you guys for for being kind of silent and, and, you know, not not doing a stream last week and everything. I have I have not been feeling well the last week and a half or so, so I do apologize for that. But I wanted to I wanted to get a Friday stream in for you guys uh, to, to hopefully make up a little bit for for missing a stream last week. And as promised on the Twitter machine, we're going to be. We're going to be climbing into the cockpit direct today for some hot mech on mech action in Mech Warrior 5. And uh, Erst says, what mods on Mech Warrior 5? Um, right now, none. I, I am not playing any any mods right now. So I, I know that the Mech Warrior 5 experience, especially vanilla, is somewhat lacking. However, um, at the same time, I have never played Mech Warrior 5 before, and I only have the game and the DLCs right now because of some very generous folks over the holidays that gifted me the game and the DLCs. So I have not had a whole lot of time to play the game. I have only... I, I have played, like, the first couple of introductory missions just to familiarize myself with the controls. Uh, but other than that, I, I have not gotten too deep into the Mech Warrior 5 rabbit hole. So so you guys will be coming along with me for a a very new and exciting adventure into a new game. So uh, I'm no stranger to the Mech Warrior franchise, but it is my first time playing Mech Warrior 5. It's also my first time playing a Mech Warrior game on the PC in probably 20 plus years. Um, so uh that that's also gonna make things interesting i'm not great at shooters and let's be honest mech warrior is basically a first person shooter at this point so i apologize in advance for how bad i'm gonna be at this but yeah. you know what nothing ventured nothing gained so um but yeah so i i'm basically i'm taking my own advice and i am gonna try to play through the vanilla campaign one time um, just to, again, get myself familiar with the game, how it plays and all that. And then after that, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll look at the mod packs and, and look at getting a little more advanced with the game. So, um, it's, it, it'll be an interesting journey. It'll be an interesting journey, but you guys, you guys are going to be here. We'll, we'll take the journey together. So, uh, and Jacob, I, I see the, the offer to list a few mods. I, I mean, I'm fairly familiar with most of the big names as far as MechWare 5 modding goes. I have done the research. However, uh, again, I just want to familiarize myself with the game first because it is my first time in this particular game. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I want to make sure that I'm reasonably competent before we start jumping in the deep end on mods and stuff like that. Um, and we get full as well, gifting two subs to the community. Full, thank you so much for the generosity and gifting the subs. And for those of you that got gifted subs, be sure to thank this generous individual. And welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. Uh, we are always glad to have more converts here in the cult. And Erst says, also, moving from Lowe's to being a plumber's apprentice, jumping up by 15k a year. Will you love to hear that shit? Congratulations, Erst. Uh, you know, I, I always love to hear when you guys are out here, uh, you know, taking those steps and doing better for yourself. And, you know, that's the thing. Just being a plumber's apprentice by itself is a huge jump in salary. And uh, once you get up to journeyman status yeah. and you can start working on your own, uh, that's that's when that kind of that kind of dedication will really start paying dividends. So, Erst, congratulations on the promotion and well, I guess the upgrade, and I wish you all the best in making that work for you. Because again, the the trades are often neglected, often derided, uh, but they they are necessary, and I I absolutely respect the folks that that choose to go into the trades. But without further ado, chat, what say we get over to the game? Here we go. Oh, right. Once again, I have the sound all 
packed up because that's a thing that I do often. I'm sure you guys are aware. Uh, there we go. Now, as always, this is a brand new game on the stream, and uh, I have tried to do as much as I can to optimize the gameplay and the settings and stuff like that. However, uh, as I've said before, um, the VTubing software that I use does not like to play nicely with 3D games and especially graphically intensive ones. So uh, you guys will have to be my eyes and ears on the receiving end and let me know if there are any issues with um, with the graphics or the frame rate or the sound or anything like that. So if you guys are noticing any hiccups, definitely let me know. Uh, I have done some benchmarking and I think we'll be okay, but uh, in the event that things are not okay and the system and the sound and everything starts to go wonky, just let me know. I do have backup plan in place. Um, but yeah, let me see. Uh, hopefully that audio level is good. It looks like the music is a little loud, but if it's, if it's too loud, you guys let me know and we can turn it down. Um, but otherwise, Let's go ahead and get into the action. So I'm gonna go to single player and I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So again, I've already started a campaign and um, we're, we're only a few missions in. I basically got the first couple of introductory missions out of the way um, that introduce kind of the plot and get you to the point where you can have multiple mechs on the field. And that's about it. So we're, we're in that first little interlude where they say increase your reputation. So uh, essentially the first time that they cut you off the leash and say go out and play around in the world a little bit. So uh, we, we will see. We will see how this goes. Again, I'm not super familiar with how this works, but we will give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, let's see. I don't even remember what I was doing the last time I played. It's been... Good lord, almost a month and a half since the last time I fired the game up, but uh, let's see. It's just saying we need to increase our reputation, so let's have a look at the star map and see if we can find a place to go. Um, let's see, looks like we got contract here. What else we got going on? More contracts, black market available. I mean, I do like... I do like a black market. I don't know if we have access to it yet. Yeah, go do a crime. Exactly. And Polly Vanish rolling into the chat. First time chatter saying hello. Well, welcome, Polly Vanish. Glad to see you. Glad you could join us. Hopefully you're having an outstanding Friday so far. And uh, if not, hopefully it will be a little better now that you're here. Says, I like some Mech Warrior 5. Well, uh, you, you may or may not enjoy this, this stream then because I am not super familiar. This is actually my second time ever playing the game after a brief introductory period. So I am relatively new to Mech Warrior 5, but we're going to learn together. We are going to learn together. I make no promises about uh, how good or not good I may end up being when it's all said and done. Yeah, I mean, Grimblu, you're not wrong. Uh, at the end of the day, I'll settle for not dying, and as long as we can do that, then I'll call it a win. All right, so we've got some contracts, and really that's all we need to be doing is just building up the lance, building up the company. Um, so we got a battlefield and a raid. I'm not as familiar with these mission types, but I think battlefield is just a straight-up fight. Uh, let's see, we have intel that independent forces have a detachment doing secret maneuvers. Your job is to get their attention and distract them for as long as possible while we block their only means of escape. Obviously, the more of them you can disable, the better. Oh, okay, so this sounds like one of those go in, kill some dudes, and then, uh, you know, they'll throw more guys at us and we can make a little more money if they, if we kill more dudes. Oh, yes, I did see that, Erst. Uh, as a matter of fact, here I am without my pen at the desk yet again. Uh, and I do still have um, 
Oh, I'm gonna have to write that down. Shit. All right, well, chat, you may have to bear with me for just a second when I get up and go get my pen. Uh, but I do want to write that down. And again, as always, I, I believe they'll let me rename the pilots. Um, and I do still have some folks on the waiting list. So uh, for those of you that are not already on the waiting list, you are you are free to join in. Um, well, you say it's fine, Earth, but I'm telling you right now, if I don't write it down, I'm going to forget because I have terrible memory. Um, so I'll tell you what, give me just a second, chant. I'm gonna get up, go grab my pen. It'll only be a second. Bear with me. Uh, I apologize. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that, chat. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to find the pen than I thought it would. And, uh, apparently, once again, the model does not like it when I get up from the desk. So, hold on, let me... There we go. Get everything reset so it's working as it's intended. There we go. Alright. Now, we got the names added to the list, everything should be fine. But for right now, let's get stuck into a battle. Now, again, as far as the the payout goes, I mean, I think the, the traditional wisdom is always take max salvage. Um, I don't know if damage coverage is worth it on these missions. Um, I think it would be. But then it's the whole, if you don't get damage, then you don't have to worry about it. But maybe the sea bill payout is better. Uh, I get. I saw it, Aether, and you're good. Yeah, I, I, I can write everything down now as you guys do the redeems. I just, I didn't have the pen at my desk. That's why I had to get up and go get it. Because for some stupid reason, I only have one pen here, uh, in in the office. So, if I don't leave it at the desk and I use it for something else, then I have to go run across the room and and get it. Because pens are expensive, y'all. I don't know if you know that. In this economy, th those pens, man, they'll, they'll break the bank. And Dizzy Buttons rolling into the chat as well. Dizzy Buttons, welcome to the stream on a Friday. Hopefully you're having an outstanding day so far. And welcome to some Mech Warrior 5. Salvage and sea bills. Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll go with sea bills for now. All right, let's let's see what we got here. I don't think, yeah, I don't have any other pilots right now, uh, so we'll have to go with what we got. Um, let's. I mean, again, sight unseen, and I've completely forgotten what we were doing. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward. That is one thing that I like having just gotten into Mech Warrior Five. One of the things that I like about the game is. It cuts out a lot of the extra waiting that you have in, like, Battletech, for example. Um, by saying, okay, you need to do X, Y, Z to have your mechs be ready for battle. And, uh, oh my. Yeah. Sorry, Chad, I'm, I'm watching performance here and just trying to see if everything's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, I like that it'll let you just fast forward through a lot of the, a lot of the extra stuff. But remember, you have to be alive to spend it. Come back safe. So that's another thing about this game. Um, I don't know if you guys feel like this, but I feel like, um, that the lady, that the, the helper lady, I know it's not an AI voice, but it sounds so much like an AI voice to me. Like, her voice just sounds like a text-to-speech program. Is it just me? Somebody's out there. Yeah, this visibility. Oh my. Come here, you little. Alright, there we go. I mean, it was only a commando, but we got him. We got him. What do we get over here? What is this? 
Oh, oh, oh. Maybe a turret of some description? And it seems like we got... Oh, yeah, we got enemies coming in behind as well. All right. Yeah, they, they definitely got the music right with the whole... Sereni says, Kate Walsh voiced Rihanna. Well, I mean, and, and no, no offense to the voice actress herself, but like there's just something about that voice that doesn't sit right with me. Come here, you little... There we go. My heat is critical. That's another thing I'm gonna have to get used to. Yeah, it's it's kind of an 80s. It's it's a synth metal. I don't know if it's 80s synth metal. There's definitely a, an 80s vibe to it though. So we're supposed to be destroying enemy forces, but uh, I don't know if it's the visibility or what else is going on. But they're just not showing up on the sensors very well. Anyway. And we get somebody way out there in the distance. My scope is lighting up with more targets converging on your position. Yeah, you're not wrong, Erst. I do need to rebind the fists. That's that's one thing that uh that I have not done. I might do that here in a second. Come here, you. Oh, well, never mind. Well, that's six of eight. Where's the next pair of donkeys gonna come from? Probably behind me, whatever direction I'm facing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like a vehicle and a mech. Dang it! Let me in! Let me in! Oh. Well, you know what? Ragdoll isn't a thing that I thought I needed in Battletech, but man, that makes it much, much better. I like it when things ragdoll in games. Also, again, uh, let me know, guys, what uh, what the performance is like, because right now I'm showing I'm showing the CPU is a little taxed. So I, again, let me know if things go a little bit wonky. Uh, another reason that I wanted to do this today was to kind of get a feel for the performance and uh, make sure we're not having any issues. I mean, if they're just gonna throw helicopters at us, that's basically free money, isn't it? Man, this villa visibility is butt cheeks. Where did they go? All right, well, whatever it is, it's moving pretty quickly. Of course, I'm getting drawn very far away from the landing or the extraction zone, which maybe isn't a great idea. Additional contacts just across the perimeter. 
Oh, you're right. There is a vision mode, isn't there? I don't remember what it. Uh, there, oh, oh, ma. Yeah, well, there we go. There's night vision, but uh, I think it makes it worse, not better. Oh, we've actually got another mech. Well, well, well. What are we dealing with here? Good. Good, Rihanna. Let's go get him. Yeah. Laugh bang. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are saying the performance is good, then, then I'll take your word for it. But again, I just... You, you'll have to be my eyes and ears, because I only have the performance monitor to go by. So if it's, if it's all coming through good on your end, then that's all I'm worried about. Uh, let's see. He's probably behind the wall. I'm not gonna spend forever killing extra dudes, by the way. Man, I, like, yeah. good on you guys for actually being able to see all that. I guess that's where computer, computer allies comes in handy. But let's go ahead and, uh, let's get out of here. We've got an extra 120,000 Seabills. I mean, we could push it, but the Jenner's taking some damage, and I don't want to risk, you know, losing a bunch of stuff. No point in being greedy this early in the campaign. So we'll, we'll extract from this mission. We did good. We made some extra money. I mean, you're not wrong, Erst. NPC allies tend to be idiots in most games. But yeah, we didn't even uh, we didn't even take that much damage. So let's see. I mean, we could we could get some spider legs. You guys want some spider legs? Sadly, the enforcer is just a little bit too much for us. Yeah, I mean, the only thing left of that spider is the legs. Um, but. Since we can't get the Enforcer, let's see what else we got. I mean, I would think that some medium lasers are always going to be good. The old Frank's Red Hot. It hurts to take a little more ammo. I mean, I know you're supposed to prioritize the weapons that have uh, have the more, more pips because they're supposed to be better. Um, I mean... A stream five isn't terrible. What else do we got? I guess an SRM four. Why not? Why not? Hey, wait. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, let me see. We need to go to the mechs. We need to make sure everybody gets repaired. Uh, all told, not too bad. We didn't lose anything. Alright. Um, let me see. Barracks. Let's see, because, because folks were talking about it, I don't know if we can actually... Can we rename pilots? Because, uh, if so, I, I I don't think it's given me the option here. So you guys will have to tell me. Is there actually a way to rename and redo pilots? Is it just that these guys in particular are, like, specific? Ah, needs a mod. I got you. Okay. Well, then when we get to the modded ver I mean, we'll definitely play a modded version of this at some point so once we do then we'll look at you know renaming you guys and actually putting you in the game and i may not even play through the entire vanilla campaign i just want to get familiar enough with how the game plays um and the mechanics and stuff before like i said before i go jumping in the deep end um view transmissions 
So, let's see. Great work, kid. I've been monitoring your progress with the MRB, and I think you've done enough to prove to the naysayers that the heir to Nick Mason's mantle has got what it takes. So here's the deal. Comstar does good work overseeing the MRB and their license contracts. It ensures that us mercs get paid what we signed up for, even if a client is unhappy, and it keeps mercs from bailing on their clients without severe penalties. Since no one wants to feel the wrath of Comstar. But the fees that Comstar charges for their MRB services are just downright criminal. It ends up pricing out many folks who could use our talents from us, from hiring us for smaller jobs, or we can be of service. Thing is, there's nothing out there that says mercs can't take on non-licensed jobs from anyone. In fact, smaller outfits like our own often take these smaller contracts on the side to help us float by. If you're looking to take on some more small-scale work, you'll need to touch bases with a fixer. They scout clients and then look to hook them up with mercs they feel are able to get them what they need. Typically by setting up a meet at a regional cantina. Ah, okay, so cantina side missions. If they hear that you're operating in the area of space, they'll reach out and make their locations known to you on the star map. I've already put the word out about you kids, so Rihanna might already be seeing some leads contacting her for a meet. Get them what they need, and I'll sometimes even provide you with upgrade blueprints that your techs can use to further augment your mechs. If you work hard and build up a rep for certain types of jobs, you'll even find more opportunities for more lucrative assignments. Hell, you might even be offered up some rare tech if a fix would need something done badly enough. Alright. Yeah, Polly, I'm right there with you. I, um... I wasn't, again, I wasn't planning on just, you know, loading up with a hundred mods or something like that, but, I mean, obviously stuff like yet another mech lab is, is kind of, I guess, the gold standard where it comes to mods as far as, like, mech lab mods. Um, so that one would probably be one of the first ones that I grabbed, but, uh, I'll, I'll definitely have to look into it and see, see what's good and what's not. Oh, Mr. Freak. Uh, I mean... I- I guess... I- I won't say anything about your ex-girlfriend, but I will say that, you know, if you get stuck into, like, the moderation thing for anybody... Um, I've said before, mods and stuff are the unsung heroes of Twitch chat and Discord and stuff like that, so, uh... Um... It, it's... It's a labor of love, and when it's an X, sometimes that's that's a hard labor to undergo. Uh, let's see, what do we have for Cantina missions anyway? What what exactly are they asking? Collect one Locust Mech. Well, I think we already have a Locust Mech, so sure, I'll take that. Uh, this one they want us to take eight Auto Cannon 2s. Um, I don't think we have that, but it seems like it'd be relatively easy to get over time. Um, then again, is there a time limit on these? Because I don't know how long it's going to take us to find eight autocannons. No time limit. Okay, so then... Is there a limit to how many of these missions that I can take? Uh, because I don't want to take a mission like this that may take a while to complete and then not be able to take other missions as a result. Uh, okay, so there is a limit. Well, you know what? For right now, we'll take it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to bail out on it. Go to Mercenary Row and collect one viral testing kit. I don't know what that is. Is Mercenary Row like a planet or a region? I have no idea what this is asking me to do. I mean, I guess I'll take it on the off chance that we just randomly accomplish it somehow? Uh, job rewards. There we go. Select items. We'll go ahead and get rid of the locust that we have. Um, okay. Minus 5% energy cooldown time. Sure. And we just need to increase our reputation some more. 
Contracts here may discover viral testing kits. Okay, cool. So we're actually where we need to be for that to happen. Very nice, very nice. Oh, don't worry, Polly. I'm, I'm, uh... I will definitely do my own research in my own time on uh, what mods I want to add because from what I've seen and, and what I've heard in the community at large, MechWarrior 5 is one of those games where when you start, it's kind of like RimWorld in that regard, um, in that when you start modding, the first thing you want to do is kind of tailor the experience to what you like or don't like about the game and what it is that you personally would like to change. And so in much the same way, like when you first start modding RimWorld, usually the first thing you do is say, you know, I don't like this aspect, or I wish this UI element was better, or something like that, and uh, and go download mods that change that. So um, I'll definitely do the research, but for right now, again, I'm just trying to to get my feet wet in the game proper and try to understand um, you know, how, how the game works, how it plays, what the missions feel like, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I'm always open to suggestions. You guys are free to, uh, to DM me here on the Twitch machine or on the Twitter machine or whatever. Um, I can't promise that I'll always get to your messages, but I try. Um, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll definitely be looking into the modding scene at some point, but for right now, I'm just trying to just trying to get feet wet on the game. <sighs> well, that's fair. Uh, GOG is, has always been uh, a great way to get your games. However, um, I've been with Steam for a long time, and I'm just a creature of habit. Uh, let's see. Raid. Clean water is a precious commodity. Some people... Some... Put some extra stress on the inhabitants by destroying their reserves. So I guess we're just going in and destroying some, I don't know, maybe buildings or something like that. Um, so of course we're going to go for salvish. And we didn't really need damage coverage last time, although it might not be a bad idea. But we'll go with sea bill payout for now. And let's see, mission starts in 15 days. 15 days ain't bad. And we're ready to go. No water for them. Correct, Rex. Our target is a number On the other hand, I have world. water. Because Two I always have water. Have been added to your Speaking map. up. I will update you once we have eyes on the objective. Never forget to drink your water, chat. Alright, so Lava Planet, which means... I uh, Well, I mean, I don't... I, I shouldn't say which means, because I don't know, but... Uh, I would imagine we're going to have more ambient heat, and we're going to have faster heat buildup. That, that just makes sense. And kudos for all of the, you know, erupting volcanoes in the background and lava pouring out everywhere. It's a nice touch. This is the... This is... I, I think they call it the Galaxy of Many Hats or something to that effect where... Um, where every planet in the solar system or every planet in the galaxy is just... This is the lava planet. This is the ice planet. Let's see. Uh, I mean, night vision isn't bad here. Obviously, it makes the lava pretty bright, but uh, it might it might work better for seeing the mechs at distance. Oh, hey, how about that? I like loot. Oh, really? I have to look at it to pick it up. That's kind of dumb. Actually, hold up. Uh, let me do this. Wait. What? You know what? Never mind. 
Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know why my other button isn't working as intended. Oh man, I have got to work on my accuracy. Okay, there we go. I just, I, I gotta work on leading, moving targets, especially at range. I'm sorry? Uh, I guess we had a helicopter somewhere. Alright, well, good job. Good job, AI buddies. I'm always nervous in these giant open areas, at least in the early game. Because there were a couple of missions early on where, you know, it was a big open field like this and I just started getting pounded from range. That's what she said. You got this planet, so this planet is the breadbasket for the whole system. Like, no, I, I'm right there with you. Like, wait a minute, what? Although, to be fair, I mean, I guess... They use a lot of, like, lava and pumice and soil and stuff for, for, like, fertilizer, so... You know, maybe you could grow stuff here if it wasn't so hot. Oh. Alright, so we're dealing with some turrets of some description. Have to keep an eye out for those. What is that? Is that a turret way over there? Nah, I think that's just a little guard tower. What are we shooting at? Oh, you're target shooting at the target. Destroyed. Is that it? Forces are being deployed near you. Okay, additional forces. Destroyed. We are inbound on marked evac point. Get here as quickly as you can, Commander. Uh, is this? Oh, look. It's the trash can! I don't- we're not gonna get extra money for killing stuff, are we? I think- I think the idea is we're just basically gonna get ambushed here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting anything extra for killing those guys. I mean, obviously, we'll get the salvage. Um. But yeah, if we're not gonna get any money, let's just get out of here. Well done, Commander. Time to collect our pay. You guys already know. You already know. We're gonna have to grab a trash can, if we can. And we got the LRM-20, very nice. I don't know that we've got anything that can use it just now. Oh, wow! Panther, unfortunately. Don't, don't have enough salvage for that. But we can get a PPC. PPCs are always good. Um, I guess we just take almost everything else, since we literally can't take the Panther. So salvage isn't too great on this one, but it is what it is. So is there not a way, like you would think from this screen that there should be some way for me to like hit a button and just tell the game to repair these mechs, right? I mean, I don't see an option to do that, but it feels like it should be possible. I don't know if it's even worth it to repair this, um... To repair this other jab that we have here. Um... 
We're missing an SRM-6. We could replace that with one of the SRM-4s that we picked up. Uh... We need to hire another pilot if we're going to use this. Let's see, we'll drop that and try putting in the SRM-4, which is going to leave us an extra ton, which maybe we just put in the armor. Not that a jab particularly is going to be good with armor, but we don't have an SRM-6 to replace the one that's lost. So we'll just go with that. Might as well. It's going to be pretty expensive, but that's okay. We've, we've got the money for now. I don't like the whole conflict zone thing. But getting an extra mech will give us more options and we can hire another pilot. By the way, hopefully you guys like this paint job. Which, uh, you know. This is what I would have done with the paint job uh, in in our previous campaign. Something along these lines. All right. Um, so yeah, at this point we have, we have burned up all of the, the current missions that are available here. Oh, Aetherin's black and red is, is overdone. Everybody does black and red. Or black and white, or black and blue. It's always black and something. It's, uh, it's, it's the conversation in Reservoir Dogs about Mr. Black. You can't ever have a Mr. Black because then everybody wants to be Mr. Black. Uh, let's see. Anyway, we need to... Well, first of all, let's check the black market. You never know. You never know what's available here. Because they do... We are supposed to get some AC2s. Although it seems kind of dumb to spend money on AC2s for a Cantina mission when... Ultimately, all that's going to do is give us a little bit of the money that we wasted. I guess we could have bought the SRM6 for the jab, but yeah. it's fine. We'll use what we have for right now. And Sierra rolling in with a resubscription for five months. Sierra, thank you so much for resubscribing at yeah. five months. And then immediately back in the community with five gifted subs on top of it says, I am late. Well, technically, Sierra, you are. But of course, Arma comes first. So hopefully, hopefully the apps went well. And uh, welcome to the stream on a Friday. Hopefully, hopefully you're having a good day. And again, hopefully the ops went well for you. We're, we're just playing through a little bit of vanilla as I try to get used to the game. TGAP says there are two kinds of mech paint jobs. The camouflage don't make it harder to see. And the brilliant bright standout paint job. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a secret. Oh, I see. Well, either way, hopefully it went well for you, Sierra. I just, uh, I just saw you in Arma 3, so I assumed you were playing. But yeah, we're, we're just playing plain Jane Vanilla. But, uh, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. And when I used to play Battlefield 4 with, uh, with my boys back in the day, um, before we all kind of just drifted on to our own thing, uh, I was very, very good with tanks and helicopters, and I always painted my vehicles white. I used the white paint job because I enjoyed being the white whale. I enjoyed irritating people because they would always know where I was on the battlefield. And so many people would try so, so hard to take me out, and it never, ever worked. Uh, Battlefield 4, specifically, Ifrit Yanger, um, back when I played Battlefield 4. And, uh, you know, get me on a map like Golmud in a tank, and uh, I was a menace. I was that girl that you hate, 
on a map like that where I'm, you know, when, when the donkey wants to sit in the back in the AA tank just shooting all the aircraft down, I was the one that was sniping them from the other side of the map to make them regret that decision. I would go out and brawl all day long in a tank and uh, it was... It was good times. It was good times. I miss those days, but man, I know there were some folks that probably got very, very angry at me. But that was the idea. That was the idea. Uh, let's see. Let's let's head on out. We're gonna spend 20 days traveling to the next system. This this is one thing that I've noticed about MechWarrior 5 over over, you know, the the tactical battle tech is we definitely, in this game, you're kind of chasing the contracts a little more frequently than you do in Battletech. And I don't, I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's just something I'm not used to. It's, it's definitely different. Well, if, re if you were getting hell rained down on you by a white aircraft, it might have been me if it was a helicopter. Uh, I was no good in the jets, but if you put me in, in a, especially a scout helo, oh man, I, again, I, I would ruin a person's day. Uh, I wasn't like, you know, MLG pro or anything, but I was definitely up there in the leaderboards when it came to scout helos. And tanks as well. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Target and kill, so this is, I would assume, something along the lines of, like, an assassination mission where we're after a single target, but they're obviously going to be surrounded by other dudes. Visibility's excellent. It's a sulfurous moon. Well, let's make it hot. No hazard pay. Boo. Alright, specialist. Well, as always, glad to see you. Glad you could spend some time with us. Hopefully you had a good time. And uh, enjoy your Friday. I will let you know, and, and before you go, and for everybody else, I am, in fact, planning on streaming tomorrow as well. I want to give you guys some extra time since I missed last week. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you if you missed the stream today or if you've got other things you got to do, be sure to check in tomorrow because I will be streaming again. Um, I don't know when, I don't know for how long, but we will definitely have a Saturday stream as well. All right, uh, we don't have any additional pilots yet, and all of our mechs are good to go. We're within the tonnage limit. Let's make it happen. Correct, Sierra. Yeah, uh, since you weren't here for the beginning of the stream, basically, um, I'm going to be trying to play through vanilla, at least for now. Um, I don't know if I'll play through the entire vanilla campaign, but I just want to... Um, I just want to get used to the game for now, and then we'll, we'll look at potentially doing mods and, and a proper campaign sometime down the line. But for right now, I'm just playing through some of the campaigns so I can get used to the game and how it plays. Yeah. Play what? Hold on. I want, I, want, I want to do something here real quick. There we go. Let's... There we go. That's what I was looking for. Outstanding. Looks like we're at the wrong place I think I just didn't apply the changes when I changed the weapon groups. Let's check out the other locations. All right, so this is not where we need to be. I mean, look at this though. They said it's a sulfurous moon. Look at all this has got to be like the stinkiest moon in all of the inner sphere right here. Could you imagine what a planet or a planetoid that was primarily sulfur would set would smell like? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, I yep. My bad. Rookie mistake. Oh. Man, Panthers, even in this game, just do not stand up to punishment. Did you find the acquisition? Just walk 
up to it in order to pick it up. Another Irby, huh? I know this is not a smart idea, but I can't resist. Tia! Tia! Come on, do it again. Tia! Tia! What, what did, oh, it's a turret. Okay, I was, I was trying to figure out what I was looking at. Yeah, you're not wrong, Rex. I, that's the kind of stink that's gonna stick with you, I feel like. Let's see what we got here. Also, like, I think it's cool that they have, like, these mechs here. But, like, you can't salvage them or anything. Which is kind of disappointing. Um, locate and kill target. Uh, did we check? I didn't think... We didn't check this other facility from loot. Might as well do it since we're in the vicinity, because you could actually get some really cool stuff from this loot. Even in the first couple of missions, like this one, we got a PPC. Which obviously doesn't do a whole lot of good for this particular Centurion, but you could do some cool stuff with that. Let's see. Nope. No loot in here, it doesn't look like. Oh, no, there is. Look at that. Look at that. Screw you, APC. Uh, I mean, you know, Erst, it's, it's weird because... We, as human beings, are kind of odd in that way. Um, everybody smells things differently, experiences things differently, but I think the, the common knowledge is that sulfur tends to smell like rotten eggs, but yeah, it's absolutely possible that it can smell different for you. I know this isn't even a thing, but it's something to shoot. Hey, yeah. So let's see, we got a, oh, that's a level two large laser. That's actually a really good pickup. There we go. There we go. Oh, and he's got friends. I'm just gonna. I, I'm. I'm gonna work on my my auto cannon accuracy here. There we go. Got a hit. Man, they they are they are handing out the loot on this mission. Package acquired. And an LRM15 level 1. Not going to turn that down either. All right, let's see here. So it looks like our boy is either stuck or afraid to come out. Is that It's a hunchback. Chat. Chat. Could this be? Could this be? Swift Draw, welcome to the stream on a Friday. Glad to have you and welcome on over from the YouTubes once again. Uh, no mods in this case. We are just uh, we're just playing some vanilla campaign for right now. 
Uh, this is actually my very first playthrough of MechWarrior 5, so I want to try to acclimate myself to the game and how it plays. Oh no, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. You do not want to be staring down the barrel of a hunchback, that's for damn sure. Especially not one with an AC-20 burst fire. Got our targets. Nicely done. Now let's pack it in before their friends arrive. Yeah, headshots are, are more likely to earn salvage. I'm just not very Scrap accurate currently. I'm trying to work on my accuracy. Hopefully we'll get that hunchy, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright, let's see. No, no loot in here? No additional loot? So I guess we're just, uh, we're just gonna get out of here. GTFO. And we get, what is that, a spider? Looks like a spider. Little doggy, come here. All right. Now let's get to the extract. Yeah, I've noticed that the hitboxes are a little weird, but then again, as I said, Sierra, I I'm not very good at shooters in general, so uh, my my like mouse control and and fidelity is is just not great. But you know, practice makes perfect. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? I'm never gonna get better at playing the game if I don't play the game, so... We'll do what we can. And man, the, the jab one got beat the hell up on this mission. Yeah, so we got the PPC, we got a tier 2 large laser, and we got a tier 1 LRM-15, plus the money and all the other fun stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. Why you gotta do this to me, game? I feel like the game is screwing with me at this point, because it's like, Hey, you want this hunchback? It's 13 salvage, but you only get 12 salvage. Like, really? Really? Yeah, uh, unfortunately I can't I can't take the, the hunchback, which is disappointing. I kinda wanna take the Irby for the memes. I mean I feel like we might have gotten a better shot at it if uh, if I had done a better job. I mean it's just legs. We we completely blew it out. So, maybe if I hadn't been so rough with him. Yeah, I mean, the spider is worth more money. But... Trash King. Hey. I mean, we gotta take at least one Irby, right? Oh shit, I should have made the other salvage picks. My bad, my bad. I'm gonna do that more than once, chat. So just, like, get used to me fast forwarding through that salvage screen without taking all the picks. It's gonna happen. It is going to happen. Uh -huh. 